Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we will analyze the water bottle for its hydrostatic pressure analysis. We will start by double clicking on Static Structural Module. Next, we will go to Engineering Data and double click. Engineering Data Sources, General Materials. Now, we will choose four different materials for the bottle. The first one is Aluminium Alloy. The second one is Copper Alloy. Third one is Stainless Steel. And the fourth one is Polyethylene, which is Plastic. We'll just click on Engineering Data Sources once again. So now you can see these four materials have been selected. Then we'll go to Project and Update Project. Next, I'll go to Geometry and right click. I will import the geometry of the water bottle, which is already made with me. Then I'll go to Model and double click. Here I'll go to geometry and click on the plus sign. I'll change the material first to aluminium alloy for both the parts. Next I'll go to mesh and I'll update the default size of the mesh. Once the meshing is done, we'll go to static structural A5. Here I'll right click and insert fix support at the bottom of the bottle apply again i'll right click and insert standard earth gravity this value is in mm we'll just change the unit to meter so this is minus 9.81 meter per second square and the direction should be minus y so you can see here this value shifted to y axis and this direction is downward. Then I'll right click here and insert hydrostatic pressure. It is asking for the geometry. So I'll just go to this geometry here and I'm going to suppress the cap. Then I'll click on hydrostatic pressure again and select the geometry. Here I'll select the inner surface. So once we have selected all the surfaces here, I'll click on apply. Then it is asking for the fluid density. Since water is present in the bottle, so I'll give 1000 kg per meter cube. Then it is asking for the hydrostatic acceleration. We will change this defined by to component. Along the y-axis, it is 9.81 meter per second square. Then it is asking for the distance at which you want to calculate so if you just hold this bottle vertical i will give this top portion distance along the y-axis which is 0 0.21 meter or you can say it is 210 mm if you change this to mm you will get this as 210 if you want you can also make this as 220 a little above that or I can leave it to 210 itself. Then I'll go to solution A6, right click, insert deformation total. I'll right click, insert deformation directional. I'll right click and insert strain equivalent. Also, I'll insert the stress equivalent. I'll go to solution A6 and solve. Now we'll see the total deformation, which is 3.8 into 10 to minus 5 mm maximum over here. Then we have the value of directional deformation, 1.53 to 10 to minus 5 mm along the x-axis. 
strain is 6.11 into 10 raised to minus 7 maximum and stress is 0.04 megapascal. So this is when you give the distance as 210 mm for the material aluminium alloy. Now next I am going to change this material to copper alloy. I will not change the height which I have given in hydrostatic pressure. I will just go to solution and solve once again. So now let's see the value. We will first see the value of stress. It is 0.07 megapascal because the material has changed. Strain is 7.55 into 10 to minus 5 maximum. The directional deformation is 1.57 into 10 to minus 5 mm. And the total deformation is 5.055 into 10 to minus 5. Now this is because of the material that we have changed. So you can observe that the hydrostatic pressure is going to change based on material also. It is not only dependent on the height. If you change this value of height, you will get different values, 210. Also, if you change the material, there will be a change. So, we are seeing the change of material leading to the change of hydrostatic pressure on the bottle. Next, we will change this material to polyethylene and we will solve once again. Now let's see the equivalent stress, the 0.027 megapascal, it has changed. The strain is 2.62 into 10 raised to minus 5. Deformation is 0.0008 mm and total deformation is 0.0017. You can see that this value has increased as compared to the previous two material because it is your plastic material. Now, this pattern of color may not change. It will be same for all the four material, but the value is definitely going to change. You should animate and check this result for yourself to understand how will this change of color be. Last, we will change this to stainless steel, which is again a common material used for manufacturing of bottle these days. We will go to solution A6 and solve once again. Now let's see the result. We'll click on total deformation. It is 2.7 into 10 raised to minus 5 mm. Directional deformation is 8.56 into 10 raised to minus 6 mm maximum. The strain is 4.155 into 10 raised to minus 7 and the stress is 0.0733 megapascal. So you can see that this value of deformation is extremely less because the stress is high in case of metals but when you use plastic you will see the reverse result you will see the stress is reduced but the deformation has increased so this indicates that metal as a material for the bottle is obviously better as compared to plastic the hydrostatic pressure also gives you these results hydrostatic pressure if you know is nothing but the pressure which is exerted by a static fluid in a particular container so this bottle is static and so is the fluid into it but this fluid in a static state is exerting pressure on the surface of this bottle which will vary based on the, the pressure which we are exerting is based on the height. So the amount of liquid in the column, the bottle as you can say is not going to change but how the material is going to react is what we have seen and we have kept this height of hydrostatic pressure constant 210 if you change this and bring it to half say you bring it to 110 or 100 or something like that you will see that these values are going to change again because the column or the height of the liquid quantity of liquid in the bottle has reduced so i leave that analysis to you to check what happens with these four materials so with this i end the session i hope you have understood the analysis if you have any doubt, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.